today has been such a nice little reset kind of day for me. I've been really just getting myself organized. We just came back from Trader Joe's and I've been eating these pretzels all afternoon. They're so good. One of my favorite salty snacks from Trader Joe's. And we're about to have some friends over for a little like art night and dinner. We're making like lemon Parmesan pasta with some chicken, which is like already smelling so good. I can smell it through my window. <laughs> Bought myself flowers, reminding myself I love myself, you know? All of that good stuff. Also, it's so dark here because silly me, this is kind of embarrassing. I tried to contour. <laughs> I tried to contour my face using self-tanner, um, so that's actually what I'm about to go do is wash my self-tanner off. Hopefully I don't look orange. I feel like I look okay actually right now. I'll also show you my self-tan routine in case you wanted to see it. If not, that's fine. Don't watch it. I do it pretty quickly now, so I feel like I've gotten used to it, even though I've probably only done it like a total of 10 times in my life ever, so anyways. <laughs> now I'm gonna demonstrate my self-tan technique. I always start at the bottom of my leg and I use one pump for my calf and then I use any remainder to go over my knee like once or twice so that it doesn't turn to orange and then I use two pumps on my thigh. I also blend that into my bum. And the key technique is that you're gonna do circular motions everywhere. I don't know if you noticed, but even on my thigh, I did like an oval shape and then the back is really hard. I have to stretch for it. For the face, I use the residual amount on my face and making sure to blend at the ears and at the neck. Sometimes I'll add a little bit more just depending how dark I want my face to be. And that's it, super easy. chicken nuggies. They look gross, but I know they're going to taste good. craving my favorite childhood cereal, Frosted Mini Wheats, so I'm gonna make a bowl right now. because intuitive eating does not come overnight. It's like a life changer. I feel so much happier now that I eat intuitively. Also, my body, when I first started intuitive eating, does not look how it did now, but that was the point. I had to like let go of all my expectations for my own body and just really focus on having 
a healthy relationship with food. Now that I feel like I do, I actually just eat when I'm hungry. I stop when I'm full. I eat my cravings when I want them. And weirdly enough, like when you allow yourself the foods you want, you actually like, or like the junky foods or whatever, and you finally allow yourself like all quantities at any time of the day, any day, you actually crave them less. Like how crazy is that? What a mind blower. <laughs> but I think it's because it's like you take away the food from being on a pedestal and now it's like, oh, well I can have this literally anytime I want. Anyways, I'm not super hungry for lunch today. So I'm just gonna start with like a peanut butter toast and some banana slices. But the point of me saying this and making myself a smaller lunch is to also emphasize like, it's just as important to allow yourself to not force feed yourself. Like this is why I don't believe in macro counting or calorie counting because I think it's just as important to listen to your body when you're not as hungry. Here's a little snacky kind of lunch, I would say. I'm also gonna get myself a vanilla iced latte because I'm really craving sweet today as you probably saw by my breakfast. It's so good. So simple. So simple but so good. <laughs> class was so fun. Also, there were Girl Scouts outside the grocery store, so I got myself some Thin Mints. I bought two boxes actually, but I gave one to my friend because I didn't want to only buy one. Maybe this is just a me thing, but do you ever have like nights where you just want to eat a bunch of random stuff until you get full? I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm on my period, but all of this looks and sounds so delicious to me. Like it's the weirdest combo ever. I have kimchi with some canned tuna over greens and some brown rice and chickpeas. And the kimchi is probably going to clash with everything, but I don't know. It just in my head, I'm like, this is so exciting. Okay, I added some mayo and sriracha to make it even weirder. <laughs> I'm so gross for wearing the same workout outfit again for the second day in a row. If it's not that sweaty, I'll rewear it because I don't want to do too much laundry. I want to save water. Also, because I'm lazy. I just finished yoga and I'm so sweaty. I tried to like wash off a lot of my sweat with water and I'm kind of silly. I should have brought myself like a change of clothes because now I want to run some errands. I want to go to Target and go to the home goods store possibly. So I'm like, now I'm gonna be walking around looking like a sweaty foot, but that's okay. Oh well. <laughs>
so far. I'm liking the setup, but I definitely need to add to it. I feel like there's so much more I could do with the entire room and the space. <gasps> Hello, Simba. <laughs> I swear to God, this only happens when I'm recording. Like, I'm not a clumsy person. Well... I got ready to go to dinner. This is a look at my little fit. I also used to never wear heels because I was embarrassed by how tall I am, but not anymore. And we drove to dinner at Secret Bao, which was so, so good. I say that in every video, but I love sharing with you the restaurants that I love. And this was definitely one of the top restaurants I've been to on my list. It was so nice to just have a chill girls night out. We held hands as we walked to another bar and had a glass of wine before heading home. It's one of those mornings. <laughs> okay, no lie though. I know this looks so silly and I look like a cone head, but this feels so good. The cold head compress. I love it. <laughs> Feeling so tan. Gonna go to work out again. I'm just feeling a tiny bit hungover. So, probably just gonna take it really easy at this yoga school today. Yay! <laughs> favorite of the flavors i think it's the sweetness it's like not it's not sweet enough right it's like a weird sweetener yeah Matching shirts that say little devils. <laughs> Cause she's like, I don't know, devil energy. showered after that hike and amazing smoothie bowl and i'm gonna call the vlog at this here call it here <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and if you've gotten this far i'll test you a little bit and you can comment your favorite emoji currently mine is this little one the two little hands but thank you again for watching and i'll see you in the next video